Delayed flights suck and as busy meeting professionals, it's only a matter of time before we get stuck with a flight delay. But not to fear, there's lots of things that we can do while waiting for our plane to finally take off. Hey, it's Leanne from LeanneCalderwood.com and you have likely been stuck in a travel delay once or twice or half a dozen times over the years. It can truly suck. All you want to do is get home after a long week of meetings and the weather is just not going to cooperate with you. Now, I was recently stuck in one of Canada's most beautiful cities for a full 48 hours more than I had intended because of some weather delays. Uh, but it was a very productive 48 hours, which is why I wanted to create this post today. And it, it was more of a an ode to making snow angels when life gives you snow because there were so many great things about being stuck in this incredible city. Um, and rather than talk about the city itself, I want to talk about what it is I did with my time there that made it such an incredible experience, even though it was a flight delay. So here are some things that you can do the next time you're stuck in a strange city on your flight delay. The first thing you can tend to is getting some rest. And I actually did this. I never really have opportunity when I'm at home and when I'm at work to actually rest. And whether that rest comes in the form of a nap or reading in a quiet corner, I use that time to just rest and be still. Now I was also getting sick, so rest was very well appreciated, but you can rest in other ways as well and just enjoy the quiet of not being around people and in your home office uh, or in your work office or even in your home setting. Number two is to revamp your business plan. Now you knew this one was coming because I'm a big proponent of business plans and I think regular review is so important. And if you haven't done a business plan or taken a few days to do a business plan, you might wanna check out my video and post on business plan retreat because you could potentially use this flight delay as a business plan retreat. It's, and it's an incredible opportunity because no one can get a hold of you and you can't tend to some things, which means you can tend to this with your full focus. So keep that in mind. That might be a great option for when you're stuck in a flight delay. Number three is social media planning. Now we're all on social media as event professionals and meeting partners. Um, but as you can probably attest, social media is very time consuming. So again, this focus time might give you opportunity to be creative and think of some social media content that would be really engaging because you're in this different setting and, and things are looking a little different. So crafting out some content from social media is a great way to use your time. Number four is read industry periodicals. And I don't know about you, but when I travel, I take my stack of industry magazines, MPI, PCMA, Ignite, they all put out these publications that I struggle to tend to when life is in the way. But again, on these flight delays and when I'm traveling to and from places, it's dedicated time where I can actually read thoughtfully through the periodical and pull some nuggets from it that I can pass on to clients or pass on to other meeting planners. And so I love this time where I could actually just go through some of those periodicals that have been just waiting for me to dive in. Number five is create content and create value add for your clients. Again, this time away where you're not as structured as you would normally be, it does get the creative juices flowing and you can create these pieces of value-based content that you can pass on to your network. And it might come as a result of those periodicals that you just read as well. So as you can see, this is all kind of tying into a piece of content being repurposed and distributed to your network Whereas you may not have had time to do that when you were just sitting in your office and getting regular work done. And number six, wherever you are on your flight delay, hit up your bucket list, whatever that looks like. Some of you might be avid hikers. Um, some of you might love the beach. So go and take a walk on the beach. Don't feel guilt for taking that time to enjoy the destination. 
I myself, my bucket list is usually filled with places that serve afternoon tea. So a lot of these flight delays, I try and hit up a place that has um, a great tea serving and I can take some of these periodicals and read them while I'm there. And it's just a great way to do the things that you always want to do but you just don't have time. And now that time has been forced on you, we should make the most of it. So surely you have your own travel delay story and things that you like to do when you're on your travel delays. I would love to know what those ideas are because I'm always looking for good ideas. So how is it that you make snow angels when life gives you a snowstorm? Just comment below this video and let your network know. Now that you have a few ideas on how to turn a travel delay into a lesson of productivity, you're better prepared to tackle the mountain of work likely waiting for you when you get back to your office setting. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also have a playlist on productivity videos and blogs that you can find in the link here. So if you're looking at ways on making more productivity in your life, check out that playlist as well. Thanks for watching this week's video and happy travels to you. See you next time. Bye for now.